This video is in response to someone who says that they've been gang stalked, that I've been kind of watching their videos. You're mocking every word a person says. You're nervous because you're talking about people who don't know you and don't know how you know what's going on in their life to be able to talk about it in your videos every day. You're supposed to be in a certain predicament where you don't have a certain level or ability to do certain things. Really, you kind of are coming off as like a social bully to me and you're targeting individuals. And then you turn around and say that you're being targeted. Really, that's, that's what this is about. And I see people taking scripture out of content. Now, I know that you can kind of related to what you're going through, related to how you feel within um, the message that's in the scripture. But some things are just like a little more obvious than other things. Somebody was saying that when you're going through these things, people want an explanation from you. Like, why is this happening? Well, if you're not a part, then, you know, prove yourself. And their response was, the word says, oh, no, man. And that scripture is about the scripture was Romans chapter 13, verse 8. However, I think that that scripture was more so applying to a debt as far as like finances, loving people and like with love and being kind to people, things like that. Now, that person sees that that way and use that verse. But there's also a verse that says, make yourself approved, approving yourself. And that's the scripture that I have right here, 2 Timothy verse 2. So I'm just going to scroll down and it says, remind them of these things, charging them before the Lord to strive about words to no profit to the ruin of the hearers. Basically, that's kind of saying it's better if you look at it in another um, version besides the King James because it's easier to understand but it's basically saying don't just go about saying words that aren't really profitable to people they're not good for people to hear it's just kind of destroys the people it's not really helpful and then the next verse says be diligent to present yourself approved to God a worker who does not need to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth I heard this person say that they were people were making them feel ashamed like that they didn't deserve to have a roof over their head well if you're being a good person and you're doing all that you can and you're really seeking help and you're being diligent then you should feel like you deserve at least the, the standard that you deserve to survive you have constitutional rights to life liberty and you know quality of life people are supposed to help certain type of people who've been through certain type of situations and that is in the scripture The next thing that I want to say is approve to God. Make yourself, basically, you're constantly going to have to prove yourself. That's like a teacher saying, take this test. You know, you can't just say, what do I need to prove myself for? Like, I have the knowledge. I don't need to prove to you that I have the knowledge. I don't need to circle these answers on this multiple toy test to let you know that I know what I'm talking about. No, you do. You do. You have to explain yourself. You have to prove yourself. Present yourself in a way that people are going to actually believe what you're saying. The power of persuasion when you're telling the truth. I was going to say even when you're telling the truth, but some people try to use the power of persuasion and they're not telling the truth, but it should be really easy when you're telling the truth. You know, maybe something's wrong with those people. They don't, they have a harder time understanding, but it should be easier for you. So approved to God. The main word in that word to me is proof that you, you are going to have to prove yourself. And so I looked up the definition of approved. The main one that I want to look at right now is obsolete number four to demonstrate to show to make good a test to prove by trial the main one to me is to demonstrate and to show show so proving yourself is very much real and it makes it hard for people who are going through things that are not able to prove themselves but you can always write things down ahead of time you know especially if you're a writer and you'll be able to collect your thoughts a little bit better so that when you're presenting it to people you don't have to um, remember everything because some of those things that you're missing when it comes to proving yourself are important details so in english 
I remember in English class in high school, you need supporting details. And at least three supporting details is pretty much standard. So right here, the next scripture I wanted to um, go to in 2 Timothy chapter 2 is verse 25. It says, actually, I want to start at 24. And a servant of the Lord must not quail, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient in humility, correcting those who are in opposition. If God perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been taken captive by him to do his will. So if somebody finds that maybe you're kind of slipping up or maybe you're not getting it right on point because they're in that same category or they feel that they are in a certain category and you're speaking for that category, that they have the right to pretty much inquire about some of the things that you're saying and in that you have the right to speak back and say you know and explain yourself so the next thing i wanted to say this is the the scripture i believe that the person was talking about oh no man and that's romans 13 verse 8 it says let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another how appropriate for valentine's day for whoever loves others has fulfilled the law love is one of the greatest gifts one of the greatest spiritual gifts and some people that are targeted individuals have been attacked in that department because you know when you're acquiring the greatest gift people will come after you for that particular thing as well. And some have not really experienced the true experience of love and things of that nature. And hopefully that they can pray upon that and God will grant them a blessing in that department. So the next thing I want to say is they were speaking that people were saying, the perps were saying that we all have the same um, delusion. And I'm going to say that we do all have the same delusion because we all see what is happening. Now what I'm going to do is something that I learned in English class as well. Take out the negative part delusion and it simply states the truth. We do all have the same thought. I'm going to replace it with something more positive concepts understanding because we all see what is happening so you can easily replace those negative words with what's positive and you can get the truth out of it the other thing that really stood out to me is that that person said that if you are a fake ti or perp or a regular perp then you know that one of their goals is to set you up and make you feel a type of way and do this to yourself and do that to yourself and other people. But my thing is, why don't you speak more on the targeted individuals versus the people who are fake TIs and perps? Because you're speaking from a stance point where it kind of sounds like, it kind of sounds like, you've experienced being a fake perp or a, a fake individual so i'm like well you know how do you know so much about how the fake perps are being treated and how they're targeting the fake perps it seems like you're associated with a lot of the fake perps so of course people are going to question you if you're involved with fake perp and you were saying that if you were a targeted individual or if you were a fake perp that basically you're saying that they're doing the same thing to both people so you could be a fake perp and you're being targeted but you're speaking to targeted individuals who aren't a fake perp as if you're in the same exact boat as them and you're not you have one foot in on this side and one foot in on that side and you try to go with you know the better part or the better half of the situation when really it kind of sounds like you're involved with they were speaking about a certain topic which makes me wonder are you considering selling your soul because i hear it kind of sounds like you're going through a spiritual battle where you're asking yourself, well, do I want to be a perp for profit because I'm down and out, I'm in a certain situation. But if I do that, then I will be spiritually dead. So there is a scripture for that. And I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this scripture. It says, what is it? Profit a man to gain the world 
but to lose his soul. You can get on here, you can do this for views, you can do this for money, you can do this for rent money, you can do this for car money, bus fare, for food, gift cards, whatever you want to do it for. If that's the type of person that you choose to be, that's what you gain to profit. But at the same time, you're losing your soul. And every time you're doing these things, you're interacting with these activities that are um, targeting people, you, you're, you're, not, you're not nourishing your soul. Your soul is constantly being jeopardized. So you're getting money, but your soul is being jeopardized. You're getting money, but your soul is being jeopardized. You're receiving gift cards, but your soul is being jeopardized. So, I mean, you don't even know where it's at anymore. You know, and then at the same time, you say that you're a targeted individual, but I'm watching because that's what you're here for. You're here for people to watch you, right? You're speaking out. That's what we're all here for. So you can't get upset and say, what are you watching me for? Why are you watching every video? Well, that's technically not a perp because that's what these videos are for. Now, if you're actually using a video to target somebody in a certain way, like you're telling everybody what this person is doing personally in their house every day, somehow you're doing the exact same thing and talking about this exact same thing that they're talking about, that is a form of perping. That is a tactic of perping somebody. Other people get a sense that you're perping, then they're going to say that. Now, there's some people who really get a stronger sense that you're perping. So I don't think that people would just attack you and they don't have any proof. It's kind of hard to present proof because you kind of have to watch out how you approach people because the platform is built to where you don't really just go after people like that. But at the same time, people can't attack you either. So I think that in some of the situations that I saw this person, that they were actually being a bully to other people. You can't just go outside and be like, oh, you walked out. You walked out, you're a perp, you're a perp. Like, let me record this perp, let me record this perp. Like, okay, I'm gonna be like, what's wrong with that person? Like, everybody that you see can't be a perp. And if they are, then we will see clearly that they're a perp. Just because somebody walks in your path doesn't mean that they're a perp. And then they mentioned, well, one time they went to go do this. Well, we saw you go do this one time and there was nobody there. I don't really see the purpose. Maybe now they're doing it because they want to get a reaction out of you. You can't, you can't be, well, I guess you can be a victim and a perp. You're targeting other people even though you're a targeted individual as well. But you might have been on both sides of the ball game. So you have to be careful. You don't want to call people gang stalkers who are not gang stalkers because those could be people that are potentially able to help you and you're like pushing those people away that's not a good thing and if you are a part of the fake perps you're wrong you're wrong for targeting individuals that you don't know anything about i don't want to hear this excuse that they hired me for the job they told me to stalk this person and to do this but i had no idea that the person like you're a grown person you should be able to say hey dude um, i'm really not sure about anything that's going on in that person's life i don't have any real proof that they're doing any of this stuff so you have to make a decision to be mature enough to say that's not that's not something i want to be a part of 